This is Alan Elliott and this is tutorial 12, SAS Special Functions. In this tutorial, we'll look at the input and put functions as well as the lag and zip functions. The input function converts a character expression to a character or numeric expression using a specified in format. The syntax of this is input, string, and then comma, in format. For example, suppose we have a value s who that is a 1 comma 212 a character or text value and we want to convert that into a number we could use the input format input s comma comma 5 and the comma 5 is the in format uh, is what sash uses to read the value of s so it reads s converts it to x and then we have x as the value 1212 which is a numeric value the put function returns a character value in a specified format. In this syntax, we enter a value x1, and then we convert it using some specified format. Note that this is different than the put statement used to put information to an output location. So we use put to convert a numeric or character value to a character value using some specified conversion format. Let's look at this hands-on exercise. Open the file function convert.sass uh, and you'll see this code. First of all, notice that the, the length statement is used to force the char4 uh, variable to a character type. We read the uh, data below, which contains two values in, that we're naming numeric and char4. And then we're going to convert uh, char4 first uh, into a number using the input format and the best for uh, in format to read that value. Then we're going to use the put function uh, to convert the value of the variable numeric into a new character value using the uh, uh, format, version format 4.0. So you can run that and see if it works, but let's enter a uh, another line of code that you'll see in yellow here the new two equals input and then char4 comma dollar sign three dot this is similar to uh, the other input statement except this time notice that the conversion or the in format is uh, that we're using here or the uh, conversion format is a dollar sign three dot which is going to uh, uh, tell SAS during the conversion to only keep the first three characters of that value. So enter that new code, pause, and then when you're ready to uh, uh, re return, then resume. The results are shown below here. Notice we entered the new line of code, new2 equals input car4, comma, dollar sign, three dot, and we got the column called new2 that is the first three characters of char4. There's a side note here. Why would we have a, a value uh, uh, variable with uh, that looks like numbers, but it's really, I mean, it looks like, yeah, it looks like numbers, but it's really a character uh, variable. The reason is because when we convert it to a number, it loses the three leading, or how many, or many leading zeros. And sometimes we want to keep those. An ID number or a zip code or some other number may have leading zeros that we want to keep. So the bottom line is we use the input statement to move from a character statement to a numeric or character. Typically, we use input for character to numeric conversion. And in the put statement, we begin with a character or numeric, and we end up with a character value uh, specified by some conversion format. A couple of other uh, good functions are the lag and diff functions lag returns the value of the nth previous observation. Uh, so for example, if your data were 1, 2, and 3, then lag 2 uh, of x for the third item would be 1. Uh, and lag uh, without the 1 in front is the same as lag 1. Similarly, diff function uh, returns the difference of two values. Uh, so if, again, our data is 1, 2, 3, then diff 2 of the third item would be 3 minus 1 equals 2. Other functions that are very handy are the zip functions. 
Zip City returns the city and state uh, of, a, of a zip code. Zip City difference gives you the distance in miles between two zip codes and zip state returns the two letter state code uh, for a particular zip code. These are very handy when dealing with addresses. So that's the end of tutorial 13. Our next topic is going to be PROC transpose.